Hello and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today I want to show you how you can install a back to nature slimline background into your aquarium. So for this 80 cm standard tank, it's 80 long, 40 high. I choose the basalt gneiss type A and B. You see there's a little bit different design. So then you can just put them together like a puzzle that it looks very natural like here. And then turn the whole um, slim line and use a marker to mark the part you have to cut and with a cutter is very with a normal cutter you can easily cut the slim line so you don't need any special tools for it so and it's can you can broken them very easily by hand now the left side is 50 centimeter and the right 30 it fits in perfect and then i use normal aquarium silicone and this one is the black one you can also use transparent uh, and Put them on the sides of the slim line. Start with the right side first and put in the bigger one as the second one on the top. So then I turn the whole tank on the background and lay some gravel on the background. It is perfect for glue the slim line perfectly on the glass. So then we come to a special gimmick. You see the left filter here and the heater. And we're using the leftover part of the B side to hide the filter and the heater. So it's the perfect yeah, decoration. You can uh, use the slim line uh, as a kind of hidden filter on the left side. And uh, after I'm finished with the filter uh, height or a hidden camera, I just uh, making a short, easy layout inside. So it's not an aquascape, it's just an easy planted tank. We only want to show you how it looks like when the water is inside two or three weeks later. And you see also the uh, grey rocks are real rocks and the background is the grey, so it looks very natural. And you see also left behind, there's the filter. You can't see, that's the goal of this tank. For a second sample, we want to show you the Slimline Amazon with a bigger tank. This is a one meter standard tank. And also this slim line are available in three designs A and B I have in my hand and left the small is C. Yeah, and there is not much to do, just glue the silicone on the background and put the A and the B side together. That's very easy part in a one meter standard tank. Yeah, and the C side you see on the left side, I also use again as a hidden filter chamber. For easy standard aquarium like this one, uh, they comes with the internal filter and the heating system or um, internal heater. And it's really the perfect solution to uh, give them a place where you can't see them, but where they can work perfectly. For this reason, we want to show this twice again, that you can see when you combine the slim lines together and use them as a hidden filter it's a perfect solution yeah and that's all uh, yeah we just want to show you how easy it is to install a back to nature background system and i hope you enjoy the video and see you soon bye bye hello and welcome today i want to show you how you can install this 120 amazon 3d back to nature background into your tank the original size of the Amazon background is 12050 I use here and the size of the tank is 120 40 cm high. This means I need to cut around 10 cm from the upper part of the background. The background is really easy to handle. You can use a normal jigsaw like I use here and only for the medium part here you can use a hand saw to uh, take the rest away. And because the background have the same size like the tank, you also have to remove around two centimeter from the side. We want to use later the space behind the background as a filter. So we use this hole drill and add two holes with the grid as the inflow from the filter. And after all this cutting, the background is ready to glue on the tank. To fasten the background, I used the Back to Nature Power Glue. 
it looks like silicon, but it's not a silicon. It's a special glue and this dries faster. And you also can use them under wet conditions. So it's a perfect um, glue to attach decoration on the tank. Yeah, we first start with the bottom of the background. You only need to put down the background a little bit with pressure and the glue dries very fast in this case. Now we need to play a little bit Tinkerbell. You need a lighter and heaten the front part of the nozzle. And if it's warm enough, you can bend them a little bit like you see here in the video. Just a little bit. And with this small trick, it's now much more easier to glue the left and the right part of the background on the tank. So you can see it's much more easier than you use the normal nozzle of the glue. So you can also see it on the right side. Please always add a little bit too much glue on the background. It's much more better than too less later. And don't worry if you use too much of the black glue. I use here a mixture of sand and water from the same color like the background and add them with a brush on the black glue left and down and right. And that's all. So you see it's not so complicated and uh, if I can do this, you can do this also, I think. And if you are interested in how a background filter works in a tank like this, I will make a video next week from a smaller tank, but with a similar background. And then I can show you a video about the background filter. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.